The book is structured around teaching everything as a general linear model. So a lot of textbooks uh, tend to deal with statistical tests as sort of isolated kind of individual things in their own box, like this is the t-test, this is uh, the chi-square test, and um, discovering statistics is structured much more around the sort of coherent framework of everything being a linear model and everything being a variation on that, which is not entirely unique, but it's a little bit unusual. Um, but I think that really helps students because you can focus on a, a kind of a, a single and coherent system that they have to learn so that basically if they understand what a linear model is and what the assumptions of it are they know kind of every other every other test in the book so it's all about learning that one thing really well and then just seeing how it's applied in different situations so i steer i steer clear of a lot of the sort of artificial distinctions in in statistics like where people talk about a t-test or an anova i Although I, you know, acknowledge those terms as important terms that people use, um, they, everything is taught as, well, we have a linear model. There are either continuous predictors or categorical predictors or combinations of them. And I think, you know, I think that should really help students because it's scaffolding around a single coherent set of concepts.